Today, we're learning how to do some basic tracking in Fusion. By the end of this video, you'll be able to stick something to something that's moving, and it only takes about a minute. Let's do this. So the first thing we need to do is put our clip into our timeline. You can just drag this into an empty timeline. You can also go up to the media pool, right click and say, create new timeline using selected clips. From here, you would do your edit and trim any of your clips to be the length that you want them to be. We're just using one clip here. So I'm just going to call it good like this. And to start doing any kind of fancy thing, we just go over to the fusion page like this. And that brings up that clip here in the fusion page. Now this process that we're going to look at works with anything. For now, now I'll just grab some text, take the output of our text and merge it over our clip. Select the text and we'll just say text. And let's say we want this text to kind of stick to this car. Well, we could animate this text ourselves by starting it over here and going over here to layout and clicking this keyframe diamond by the center. Then we could just go towards the end of our clip and just move this over like this. And that's, at least in this case, going to probably give us a pretty good result because that car is going at a consistent speed, but it is a little bit off. It does kind of move back and forth a little bit. And we want this to stick right to that car. So anytime Anytime you want to stick an element to something that's moving within the frame, you have to track it. I'll just get rid of this merge node for now. And I'm going to hit shift space bar and type T-R-A-C-K in our select tool panel here. And that's going to bring up a few different kinds of trackers. The tracker we're talking about today is just our normal basic tracker effect right here. And I'll hit add. And since we had this node selected, it's going to run that through this tracker. Now, a tracker has one major job, and that is to look at elements in the scene and capture capture their movement. When we have our tracker node selected here, in the overlay, we'll have this little tracker widget that we can move around. And we wanna move this to a place that we want to stick things to. And generally what you wanna do is find a place that's high contrast, where there aren't any elements going in front of it. It's not being, you know, going behind trees or anything like that. It's just in the frame the whole time. And preferably it's about the same size and it's not rotating a whole lot, but we pick a place like this. I'll just hold control and zoom in a little bit. And a tracker has a couple different parts to it. If we grab this upper left hand corner, this will move the tracker around. If we grab any of these edges here, it's going to resize the inside part of the tracker. And this is the part of the image where the tracker is actually looking. It's trying to figure out where this little image is every single frame. And so you generally want this to be as small as you can get and include some areas of high contrast here. So this back glass for this car is going to be perfect. And I just have it sized around the edges here. One thing I don't want to do is have this really big like this or even kind of off the edge of the car. In this case, it might work okay because we just have this gray road, but if this were going over you know, some white lines or something, it might be a little bit problematic. But for now, we're just going to select this back glass like this. And then the outer part is the search area. And this is where it's going to look for this little image. And so you generally want this to also be as small as you can get it and still get good results. And really you size this depending on how much things are moving. If I were to hit the left and right bracket on the keyboard, we'll see this isn't moving very fast. It's only moving just a little bit each frame. And so we could make this really small. It could be something like this and it would totally work. The smaller you make this, the less work Fusion has to do to try and look for this little image. So we could call that good right there. And there we have our selection made for our track. Now that we have that, we can go over here to the inspector and we have these buttons that will let us actually do our track. And what we're really gonna want are these track forward from current time and track reverse from current time buttons right here. I kind of started this in the middle of our shot, which doesn't really matter, it's okay. We just gotta be aware of that. So I'm starting this at frame 251 and let's go ahead and click track forward from current time and see what happens. I'm gonna zoom this out just so we can see what's going on. There we go. So every frame it's finding that little picture and it's figuring out where to put the tracker and then it's going to the next frame and doing the same thing. And so we have this little tracker following following our image every frame. We also have these little white tick marks here. These are keyframes that have been added from the tracker. So really we have kind of the last half of our shot tracked. I'm gonna go to our first frame here, frame 251, and we're gonna track this backwards. So track reverse from current frame like this. Let's see how that goes. All right, and it tracked that all the way back to the beginning of our shot. Now, because this is a basic tutorial, I'm just keeping this on screen, okay? And ideally that's what you'd want to have is a feature that you're tracking that stays on screen and unobstructed the whole time. There are ways to deal with it if it goes off screen or something goes in front of it, but this is kind of the basics. So we're tracking all the way through the shot and we have white marks all the way through. Now that we have our tracking data, we can apply this tracking data to our text. 
or whatever we want to stick to the car. You can do that a few different ways. The absolute easiest way is to select the tracker and go over here to the inspector where it says operation. And under operation, by default, it says none. If we twirl this down, we can switch to match move. And match move will take this track and whatever we plug into the green input, it's just going to stick to that track. So if we take this text and plug that into the green input like this, I'm just gonna reset our center point here because we have this animated. Just double click on that and scrub this around. There's our text right there. I'll grab this and just put this on top of the car. Now we have the text perfectly following that car from left to right. There we go. That's more like what we wanted. And so now we have that text perfectly track to the car and it's beautiful but of course we don't just have to do text I'll open up another version of this shot here too, where I have a little graphic that I made. This is just like a little locator graphic just animated here inside of Fusion. And let's say, you know, we have some kind of spy drone or something that's looking for somebody. You know, this little crosshair thing, that'd be kind of neat. We can stick this to the car in the same way. Again, we'll just shift spacebar and I'll type tracker. And this time we'll make things easy and we'll just start at the beginning of our shot, frame 91. And I'll take this tracker and just put this again on the back glass like this, size this down, size this down, and we'll We'll track it forward. It's doing a great job. Just following that back glass. There we go. Tracking throughout the shot. We'll take these locator graphics that we've made, plug that into the green input of the tracker, select the tracker, go up here to our inspector and under operation match move. Now, depending on when we applied this, it's gonna kind of offset this a little bit. So we can deal with that by hitting shift space bar and typing XF for transform. That just adds a transform node. You can also just drag a transform node here from the toolbar. And then we can just offset this with the transform and we'll just put this exactly where we want it to be. So we'll just put this right on top of the car and it's gonna stick to that car because we're transforming this image before we apply it to the tracker. Let's make this a little bit more dramatic. We'll put some color correction on this, maybe desaturate things a little bit. There we go, that's nice. So now we have our little animated graphic following along with our car. So pretty simple to track something like this that's easy. You just put a tracker on that footage, select what you want to track and hit track. And then whatever you want to stick to it, you just run in to the green input. I think that looks pretty neat. This is pretty easy. Anybody can do this. Add a little tracking to your next project. Everybody think you're a rock star. Not a whole lot of work. Fun little exercise for Fusion. Tracking is an essential skill if you want to do some fancy stuff in Resolve. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments. If you don't know me, my name's Casey and I teach Fusion and I want to teach you Fusion. So if you want to dig a lot deeper than this kind of basic tutorial, a great place to start is our Fusion Survival guide. Here is a link here. That is a free video course that takes you through the need to know stuff about working in Fusion. And it's, it's pretty cool. I also have a lot of other Fusion related videos and such. So make sure to check those out too. Thanks for tracking with me. <laughs> you get it? I get it. <laughs> I crack myself up.